everyone, welcome to my channel, The Transparent Homeschool. My name is Beth and I homeschool two kiddos, five and a three-year-old. Um, I'm a first-time homeschooling parent and so this channel is about my journey and my struggles and things like that. Um, today I'm just going to do a quick video showing you my homeschool space. Um, I actually kind of have two separate homeschool spaces um, because I didn't have, I don't have a designated homeschool room in our house and so it had to kind of be split up into two separate areas. Um, so I'm just going to quickly take you through um, each area and how I kind of have things organized. So let's get started. So this is um, where we do the majority of our school and it's just in the corner of a bedroom. So like there's the bed and it's just kind of tucked back there in the corner. Um, so we're going to start over here. This is their tray where they turn everything in. And then th these bins here, um, just have a bunch of different activities that they can do when they are finished with their, um, with their work. There's just all kinds of, like, activity books, coloring books, threading things like that. And then down here are a whole bunch of puzzles. My kids just love puzzles. Um, and so when they're done with their work, they can do that. This is where we keep all of our Right Start Math stuff. There's so many manipulatives that I had to um, buy this storage unit at Ikea. And it's worked out pretty well so far. On the bottom we have our recycle bin where we put all of our papers and stuff. And then um, there's our schedule, our clock. And then, um, this is kind of a dry erase board for anything that needs to go up there, um, or anything that we're memorizing at that time. And this is kind of where I keep all of my, like, non-curriculum school stuff. So, these, this is my daughter's, um, stuff over here. This is her preschool book, and then her like handwriting paper that we do. This is her school box and her pencils. This is kind of the CD player. And then my son's pencils, his school box, and then all of his curriculum books. And then down here is like our language arts box for my um, daughter with all of her activities in it. This is um, kind of some math games that we have, and then our learning palette, um, that I purchased from Usborn, and I might do just a separate video on that, because it's pretty incredible. It's probably one of my favorite, um, learning resources that I have. And then our dart, dot markers, our flashcards, um, our cubes. This is kind of... Just a collection of things. This is an alphabet book that I made for my daughter with um, each letter and then like a picture. And then these are color cards when we were learning our colors. Here's an entire thing of like extra notebooks and paper and things like that. And then this, these are just some of the dot marker books that we got at um, the teacher store nearby. We got edition and sight words, and then I've, um, kind of been, um, copying out some pages for my daughter to do, um, and she seems to be really enjoying that. This is kind of our craft box for this room, um, when we need to do crafts for our things, so there's markers, and then there's crayons and glue here. So this box kind of holds a whole bunch of just, like, recycled containers, um, we've used for, uh, painting, and then when my daughter does some of her activities, I have her use that sometimes. Again, these are just old, recycled, um, Tupperware things. And then I found this at a, um, a bookstore that was going out of business, and it was like, I don't know, 50 cents, so it's like a wipe clean board of the world and of the United States. So I figured at some point we would use that. Down here on the bottom, all of our Usborne wipe clean books. I told you, um, 
in my um, video that I made a couple of days ago about what I do with um, with my three-year-old. I just absolutely love those. And so that's kind of that right there. This is our calendar. Um, we do this every morning and then um, just our days of the week and things like that and our weather. This is where I keep all of our stuff. These are just little bins that I got at the dollar store and I tacked them onto the wall so it holds our day cards, our um, weather cards, and then these are the uh, the date cards. I have a, a chart here or a little wipe clean chart here that I made to track how many days of school we have left. We started at 180 and we've kind of worked our way down so we're almost to the end of the school year. Woohoo! And we do that every day and the kids get really excited. Um, there's the first part of my son's sight word list. I've had to continue on to another board and I'll show you that in a second. This is our um, creation um, chart that was part of our learning that we did. So I made a little chart. And then up here I have a poem that we recite every morning. And then um, a little saying about before you speak. So how our words should be. Our words should be true, helpful. They should be inspiring. And our words should be necessary, but most importantly, they should be kind. So we do that every morning. This is, these are just little charts to help my son with phonics to remember B and D and then when to use K and when to use C. This over here is kind of, um, I guess, a free-for-all um, bookshelf. These are mostly my resources. So these are kind of um, extra books that we have. I have a whole bunch of folders up here. Um, and then just empty school boxes that I don't really know what to do with yet. <laughs> Again, um, I'm a huge fan of Usborne, and so this is one of their reading sets that I bought. And these are really great um, for beginning readers. And then here is like a another um, math resource. This box is kind of my teacher, um, like teachers' things that I have, you know, um, that I just don't want the kids to get in. Hole punch. So we keep our Bible and our hand sanitizer. These are my teacher manuals, and these are books that we have finished or that we're not using anymore. All of our glue, um, my markers and pens and pencils, and then we have some scissors here. These are for when we do, like, um, just, like, cutting activities. My daughter is really um, working on her cutting right now, so we do a lot of that. These are all of our um, science enrichment books for Memoria Press. This is where I keep all of our calendar stuff. And then down here are just some nonfiction encyclopedias. And then just some other um, really cool nonfiction and then just the books. This is from, um, well, it's from Ikea, but I actually <laughs> found this on the side of the road. Um, someone was throwing it out and I just, I was like, what? That's crazy. So I picked it up and I cleaned it up and painted it. Um, and then I put some uh, baskets of books underneath. And so that's kind of um, a very quick run through of our room. This is where we usually do most of our schoolwork. Um, and so the next part I'm going to show you is um, where we do our arts and crafts. Okay, so we're now in my kids' bedroom. Um, they share a room, and so this is where we have kind of our arts and crafts center. Um, like, there are their beds over there. So this is their table, their craft table. I picked this up at Ikea as well. I liked it because when you open up the, the thing, they have these little bins inside. And so sometimes when we do our crafts, we leave them in there to dry for the day. And then that way, it's out of sight, out of mind for the kids, and so they're not just, like, constantly touching it. So I have um, two bookshelves. 
and I was thinking of how to cover them so the kids wouldn't be touching my materials all the time. And so again, from Ikea, this um, was a three-piece room divider. And so I just unscrewed each piece and screwed it in like over the bookshelf to kind of make doors and they fit almost perfectly on there. So it's kind of just like a door. So this is one of my bookshelves. On top we have all of our paint, um, all of the acrylic paint, and then all of our paint brushes. Here are their um, watercolor sets. Each one has the same one. And then these are some other watercolors. This, um, most of this art supplies actually came from that bookstore that was going out of business and I, I mean, I was there almost every day for like a week just kind of looking at what they had. I got most of the paint on the top shelf for like two bucks and I mean most of them are half full or more and so I was, it was just a huge blessing to me at the time because um, craft supplies is pretty expensive. So here are all of our um, colors of construction paper. Um, the next row, all of the glue sticks. Um, and so in one of my other videos, I was talked about how my sister is a kindergarten teacher. And every year she has so much school supplies left over that there's no way that she can use it all. And then the next year she gets so much more. And so... Um, she brought home an entire bin full of glue sticks. So that's what we use for our glue sticks. And then I have a little box of ribbon here. Um, again, most of my stuff, like the things that I have here are, um, either don't like given to me or I found super cheap. So, um, there's that. These things down here are basically for like rainy days, so when we have rainy days or cold days they can come in here when we have like a break and they can play games or um, build or do puppet shows. This is our Bluetooth speaker that we have for when we listen to um, our music while we craft. I found this at that bookstore, it was free. And then up there is kind of our board to kind of um, highlight their artwork. Down here in this bin, we have a whole bunch of, like, scrap paper. Um, a lot of it is, like, um, just things that we've had around the house that have a clear back, and they can use that to draw on. These are coloring books. The next drawer is where we keep our crayons, markers, and colored pencils. And then in the bottom, I just have a magnet board um, with some shapes in it that they can also use on rainy days. In this bookshelf, this is kind of our, like, supplies closet, I guess. Um, so again, most of these containers are just recycled from things that we've been, um, that we use. So these are all of my glue sticks. I have some shells in here that we collected at the beach. Um, craft sticks, and then a whole thing of cotton balls. These are some of my teacher's um, things. Here's our paper, our cardstock that we use a lot. Just a few materials. In this box, we have all kinds of stuff. Paper cups, paper plates, and bags, and things like that. And then I just, again, just took boxes, put tape on them, to hold all of our stuff that we used throughout the year for our um, craft supplies. Those are books, like art books and stuff. And then paint shirts. Um, my husband and I had matching Disney shirts when we went to Disney. And we didn't use them anymore, so I let them be our Disney, or our paint shirts for the kids. So these are some of our crafts that we've done throughout the year. And then... Um, when I changed them out, I made these, um, I bought two things of poster board at the dollar store and just made these, like, homemade portfolios for each of my kids. And then on the first day of school, I had them decorate them however they wanted with their stickers and a whole bunch of stuff. Then when we finish um, a craft and we kind of take it down, we put it in their portfolio. And it's a way to kind of keep all of the papers 
organized and things like that. So this, that's basically my homeschool space. Um, so we don't technically have a room dedicated to our homeschool, but we do kind of have some extra space that I utilize for our homeschool. Now, in a few months, we are going to be moving into a smaller house. Um, it's a rental until we can, um, until we find a house. Um, and so this will definitely change and it will be a smaller space. And so when I kind of get that all figured out and organized, I will do another video about how to homeschool in a really, really, really small space. So thank you for coming along on my homeschool tour. Um, if you have any questions about any of the things that I showed you, just comment, um, um, comment below and I will get back to you. Thank you. Bye.